Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and safe. Today's tutorial is an intro video about a gizmo which I personally use a lot and very useful. I want to thank Tony and Annie, uh, my teammates for suggesting this tool to me. Because of that, now I am able to make a tutorial on that. So in usual cases, if we have a 3D track, the process of extracting a 2D track from that is little tedious. So this tool basically helps us to ease that process. We have a footage and we are going to take a camera tracker node to track. Here we go. Okay, let's connect the source pipe into the input. There are lots of settings here and in settings, check this option. So now we can see all those features in screen. Okay, let's increase the feature to 500. Now even better, right? You can play with the number of features with the complexity of your shot. Here we have some settings. Here we have mask option. Uh, this is to mask out certain areas from tracking. So let's mask some areas. Uh, take a primate node. Let's connect the FG into plate. We have the settings for primate here and and there are lots of options here. Uh, here I want a rough key. So I'm going to use auto compute. Okay, it looks good. Let's use the clean BG noise option to fine tune even better. Yeah, this looks nice. Again, we didn't work so precisely here. I'm taking a shuffle node and shuffling alpha to all channels. Now we will use that alpha to mask some areas from tracking all these areas in the camera tracker node connect the mask pipe into the alpha okay it's not done unless we choose some options over here select mask inverted alpha here we go you can see the result here although you can do the inverse of that using the mask alpha option but we will proceed with mask inverted alpha here there are a lot other options here which is needed for a perfect camera track but i'm gonna skip this option as i just need a track for tutorial Click on this track option. Okay, we have a track here and it took some time for that. We have a solve error of uh, 1.03, which is pretty good and solid. You can have a control over the error using these options. Now we are gonna export a camera. Also, we have tons of awesome stuff here. Uh, you can expression link that using this checkbox, create camera. Okay, here we have a camera with all the values baked. You can see the camera in 3D viewport here. Also, you can see the animation right here. So that's perfect. This is not recommended as a camera tracking tutorial. We can keep it here. So basically, if we have a camera, take Reconcile 3D. Um, card. Axis. Let's connect these pipes into camera and plate and also to axis. And after extracting 2D transform values, use this with a tracker node and your 2D track is almost ready. But this is little time consuming. Delete this. We have an awesome tool which comes with the Nuke survival kit and okay, come over here, press tab and take the card to track a k gizmo i appreciate helge and alexi for this effort i guess i pronounced the name correct we have extra pipe i will explain this later pipe to connect camera and pipe to connect the plate now we will see the properties okay inside here we have a help tab where we will find all the info as text this is a mini blog post over here we have a menu which we can select what all we have if we have something else than camera you can connect that into this extra pipe so we are good with a great match move okay after that we have set reference come over here i'm gonna delete all this stuff arrange this a bit uh, let's connect camera and plate So in properties, we have a picker options, which can be used to locate the spot which we need. It's just calculating the X, Y transform values. You can see that here. I'm searching for a spot where we can apply this tool. Okay, this area looks perfect. I'm going to extract tracking data for this specific area. Let's take the picker point and place it over here. In the edge. Okay, after that, click on this set button 
and you can see the gizmo is showing us some result you can see the option as great match mo only and also there are some other options revealing i'm going to explain all this in next few minutes so if we view on card to track gizmo we can see a grid placed at the same location you can treat this as an indicator of the position and also you can adjust it too so i have set the grid to first frame but as we move along we can see the grid is not matching and we need to solve this come to first frame we have the find z parameters here we can adjust this value to find the exact z position can you use this stabilize option too if you need okay let's adjust it and see let's jump into the other frames i'm going to match this frame adjust the z values and it needs a little effort to match it precisely you can use the u scale inside adjust trs option to scale the grid i'm going to adjust it further most of the cases if we match the position using z for two frames it should match the entire work range i'm going to match it now by adjusting both the scale and z parameters so almost we matched we can use decimal values to match it even precisely cool that looks good for me let's check you can see now the grid is matching the entire work range so once you are happy with this let's proceed to the next step to adjust the perspective click on happy wow we have the transform values and also some exporting options we can adjust these values to match the grid even further okay i'm happy with this you can see it's sticking well there right now the final step we can export lots of useful stuff in a single click this is the most fascinating part of this tool you can check whatever option and click on this go okay it's asking as a label name to type I'm going to type FG building wall and also you can confirm with the other settings. I'm changing the reference frame as well. Click on okay. Wow, we have some notes ready to be used. We have card which is placed exactly at the Z position. We have a corner pin with the reference frame set already. and can be very useful for 2d transform tasks also we have a roto with the transform matrix copied and useful for roto we have a transform value and matrix too which can sometimes will be life saver now i'm deleting all the other except the corner pin and roto okay let's see the roto first cool roto node is ready to be rotoed <laughs> Let's delete this gizmo and start rotoing. Take a bezier and let's find the area. Okay, here we go. Uh that looks good and let's take a merge node and connect the roto node to the plate. Let's play. Oh wow, that's awesome. It's matching perfectly. Let's turn the motion blur on. This looks good. Rotoing is so easy. I'm going to delete this merge. Let's see how the spline behaving. It looks good. And I guess you already are in love with this tool. <laughs> uh, okay, let's delete this roto and try something else. Take the gizmo back to the node graph. Connect the camera and plate. If you have a mesh or position pass, you can hook that into the extra pipe. We don't have that, so proceeding further. Let's find a spot. Okay, we will do something over here, like CC or prep or roto. Let's take the picker point. and place it over here and click on set button 
view on the gizmo to see the grid there you go but you can see it's not placed properly on the z let's adjust the parameters and match this can take some time and uh, make sure it's precisely matching i think we matched let's check the other frames and it looks perfect if you need more clarity in the process you can peep into this help tab once you're okay with the result you can click on this button happy wow we have the values filled here as i told you you can adjust it further with the perspective thing okay i'm going to scale it a bit more this looks good okay i'm ready we have the freedom to choose which are the nodes needed so i'm going to keep card corner pin roto you can explore it further click on go and fill the label name let's name it as bg building and also reference frame as 1 okay and that's done so easy let's close this properties Here we have the card, corner pin, and roto nodes ready to use. Okay, let's try to use that in day-to-day -day scenarios. Let's try the roto first. I'm drawing a spline over here. Adjusting a bit. as you see the roto is already tracked we can just play and see how it looks okay okay that looks fine some minute adjustments needed maybe because of the difference in the z position let's adjust this frame okay this looks fine Wow, rest of the frames looks good, right? We will add a keyframe in between. Fine tune a bit. Yep, that's done. We can do CC easily with this setup. Let's see how we can prep task easily with this corner pin. Take a constant node. Use a merge node to connect the plate and the constant. I have connected the corner pin also. Okay, let's go to the first frame. You can see already the first frame is set as reference frame here. So let's pre-mold the constant. Connect the B pipe into constant and A into the roto node. I'm drawing a spline here. and that's done we have the constant prepped let's change the color of constant keep it a bit orange cool let's play and see wow that's awesome so our let us suppose clean plate is sticking perfectly over there i'm mixing the values so that you can see what's happening it's so easy right Let's utilize the card again and this can be handy for compositors as well as prep artists. I have a tool set for that. Replacing the card with this one as this is the result from our tracking. Let's delete the other one. Connect the clean plate. Okay, I'll take a color wheel node instead. Here we go. Connect the project 3D node to the color wheel. let's arrange this a bit merge it okay so let's see what's happening here okay going into the 3d viewer so the card is very small let's increase the scale value of 10 now i will give it 50 and now you can see the color wheel but it's so huge right 
Let's make it small with a transform node. Fine tune it. This looks fine for me. Okay, we have the composited element here. And let's play and check. Oops. Okay, we are doing something wrong here. Okay, 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 what, what? Cool. Setup is looking fine for me. Got it. We didn't replace the camera with the short camera. And I'm gonna do that. Okay, now let's check. That's awesome. It's working, right? It is so easy. It's gonna take some time to cache. This tool is simply amazing. Uh, there are lots of things still we can explore further with this tool. I would say this is just an intro. If you have mesh or position pass, more fun. <laughs> This tool is helping me a lot in my work. I hope it will be to you too. Comment down your thoughts below and like the video. Subscribe for more and till next time. Bye bye.